Hello, hello, welcome to My King Thoughts. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. The title of this video is Just Pray. If you desire to have a relationship with God, then you just you just pray. If if you desire a transformation in your life, then you just pray. If you desire desire God to transform your, your mind and and the your thought process and the way you live, then you just pray. He transformed he, with prayer. He transformed us through our hearts first, because that's where everything lies at the matters of the heart. So if you desire an experience of uh, um, nothing like the world can give you, then you just pray. If you want to be victori vic victor victorious over your circumstances in life, over the trials and tribulations in your life right now, then you just pray. In, in James chapter 5, um, verse 13 through 8, is a very powerful passage of scripture regarding prayer. The Bible reads like this. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is, if any, is anyone among you cheerful? Let him sing songs. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up and he and he and if he committed any sins he will be forgiven confess your sins and trespasses to one another and pray for one another that that you may hear the effective fervent prayer of the righteous man unveils much Elijah was a man who prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. He prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. See, this is why we shouldn't judge one another's shortcomings and what we're going through. Because we're told to come to each other and, 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 and confess and forgiveness. So we must move forward. But I don't think people get that portion of it yet. They only want to forgive and they only want to listen to certain sins and certain things as long as it doesn't um, involve um, maybe them being hurt or maybe the sin committed against them. But we must forgive all sorts of sins, whether it's committed against us or someone else. We must, if, if, without forgiveness, then there's no relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no relationship. Um, if you look at how often the word prayer is mentioned, but more importantly, if you look at the reasons why we should pray, verse verse 13 says, if anyone is suffering, you must pray. Verse 14 is anyone is anyone sick, called on the elders and let them pray. Verse 15, the the prayer of, of faith will save the sick. That's powerful. 16, verse 16 says, pray for one another that the Lord may hear the effective fervent prayer of the righteous man unveils much. Let, let's, let's focus on something. Let's focus on the, uh, the last couple of Bible verses and passage. Uh, let's go to 17 and 18. Notice how the Bible says Elijah was a man of na na natural man like us. The Amplified Version is so so deep and i want to read the amplified version it offers a detailed breakdown of what that means being a natural man he he wasn't a, uh, anything like none of the men were in the bible or none of the women were in the bible they were just like us the only exception was jesus christ and he still was a man like us to show us that he also had emotions and feelings and dealt with trials and tribulations himself but the Amplified Version um, says this. Uh, let's see here. What is the natural? Is As it reads, um, Elijah was a man with a nat nature like us, with the same physical and mental spiritual limitations and shortcomings, and he prayed intensely for it not to rain. And so it, it, it's funny. I've had conversations with people about some of the stuff that was going on in their life and I asked them how they prayed. Yeah, I prayed uh, once and gave it to God. You know, I don't want to keep bugging God. I don't feel like, you know, you need to keep asking for the same thing over and over again. But that's that's the liar lie from the pit of hell. That's what Satan wants you to believe. 
you're not bugging God by coming to him with the same prayer over and over again. You're not bugging him. God wants to hear from you. He wants to, he wants to know how bad do you want what you're asking for. Just like the woman, um, I, I, I can't remember the Bible verse, but the woman that kept going to the judge repeatedly, repeatedly until the judge himself just gave the woman what she wanted. You know why? Because she was persistent. The persistent widow is what that, that title of that Bible verse is. And that's what she was. She was very persistent. And that's what God wants for us. He wants us to be very pers persistent. Why is it important for us to know that Elijah was a man with a nature like ours? I believe the reason for this is because many people may view Elijah as a rather unique or a very special person, but the Bible is making it clear that Elijah was just like everyone else. He was just like anyone else. But notice in verse 17 and 18, every time Elijah prayed, something happened. Elijah was a man of, uh, uh, he, he's a man that, like, like our nature, he was, he, he, he had a need and and he had a relationship with God, and that's why he didn't stop praying. But I don't want to focus on Elijah, but I want to focus on his relationship with God. He prayed, and God acted. God, God still answers prayers today, people. He really still answers prayers today. He's answered so many prayers of mine, even going through the valleys of life and the, 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 the walking through the storms and, and, and taking stepping out on faith and walking on water and trusting that God is going to deliver me through this storm. I will not stop focusing and praying to God, no matter what goes on around me, because I trust God. It may not be, it may, it may not be exactly the way or how you wanted him to answer. It may not be when you want him to answer. But remember, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Let us pray the Holy Spirit help us to, as as let let's pray that the Holy Spirit help us as children of God have patience. So I want to do that. I want to pray that for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help me to pray. Help us as children of God to pray. Let our prayer be our lifestyle. May our prayers become a a habit, a practice for us. Give us hearts that are devoted to prayer. Give us the insatiable appetite for prayer and hunger for your daily communion with you, Lord. Holy Spirit, develop an appetite in us for Jesus Christ. Let us hunger for him who is our bread of life. Let us thirst for him who offers the living water and let there be fire within us to fall on our knees and to pray all week, every day, every second, every moment. Holy Spirit, strengthen us to pray without ceasing. Strengthen us to continue to earnestly in prayer. In Philippians 4, verse, uh, verse 6 through 7 says, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to, the, to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understand will guard your hearts and minds through jesus christ we are anxious and stressed holy spirit teach us to cast all our burdens to jesus with our minds are are weighed down by the cares of life holy spirit teach us teach us to trust in god and ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 says Hold, uh, says praying always as all prayer and supplication in the spirit being watchful to the end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Holy Ghost, quickly make my spirit calm so that I may be able to pray in all occasions. Help me to rejoice always to pray without ceasing and give thanks in all circumstances. Open our eyes, Holy Spirit, that I could see the beauty of prayer and the privilege of being able to pray. And Father, as I pray and seek you, may you change the character inside me. Give me a, give me a patient, more thankful heart and fill with joy and peace. Lord, as I pray, I, as I state my request to you, give me the heart that understands that you are a sovereign God. A God who always and when time is right, God, when your time is right, 
who has perfect time, I will, I will gr get my request granted. I will wait on you, King Jesus. I will wait on you with a heart filled with faith. I will wait on you even as I wait. I will hold on to your promises. And in Isaiah 40, 31, which says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Not faint. As I pray, Lord, develop a patience within me. Renew my strength. Let me not be distracted or discouraged or dismayed as I wait patiently on you. You know my needs. You know my request before I can even utter a word. I trust you and I know you are God who is faithful to provide and meet me at the point of my need, Lord. I bless your name, your holy name, King Jesus. You are great and mighty. I will be still and I know and know that you are my God. And I pray these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, people. I, I pray that I, I pray that this this ver this this video on prayer motivates you to have a relationship with God through prayer. When you can't talk to no one else, you get on your knees and you pray. That person that's that's linked to prayer is your creator, who you are made into the image of, who came to this earth as a man to understand what we really go through in life. Jesus Christ understands. And yes, he, he before we utter a word, he already knows, but he wants to hear it from you. You know, just like any relationship, a person might know that you love them, but it's something powerful when you hear it from that individual. You know, so God wants to hear from us and make sure you pray without ceasing through the good, through the bad. You rejoice. You rejoice always. Because it don't rain forever. And so you want to learn how to rejoice in the rain. And you want to know how to rejoice in this, when the sun, sun is outside. You have a good one.